The dualism, also known as the vertical shot, is an iconic cinematic technique that disorients spheres by creating an illusion of movement. It involves zooming out from one subject while simultaneously moving the camera toward or away from it. This technique has become popular not only in Hollywood films but also in cinematic travel films. In Hollywood production, achieving a dualism effect typically requires a wide range of zoom lens and a camera dolly. However, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily achieve a perfect dualism effect using secret tracking techniques in DaVinci Resolve without the need for expensive equipment like those used in Hollywood. Now we can see we have drone footage on the timeline in DVN3 Resolve. This footage is moving forward. To create a dualism effect, we need video clips that are either moving forward or moving backward. If you want a more in-depth understanding of the dualism effect, you can watch the tutorials linked below in the description of this video. Now ensure that the time indicator is positioned at the beginning or end of the video. Then move to the inspector tab at the top right corner and click on it. You can compare the inspector tab with the effect controls in Premiere Pro. To create the dolly zoom effect, first click on the small diamond icons for zoom and position to create keyframes at the last frame of the video. After that, move the time indicator to the first frame of the video clip. Then set another two keyframes for zoom and position. If you can't see the keyframes, click on the small keyframe icon to expand the video layer. Just below, you'll notice the keyframes you have set. Since this footage is moving forward, zoom in on the first keyframe. If your footage is moving backward, then select the last keyframe for zooming in. You can switch between keyframes using the arrow icons. Make sure the first keyframe is selected, then increase the zoom value. In Premiere Pro, the default scroll value is 100. For the dolly zoom effect, increase it from 100 to 180 or 200 for a better effect. This range is standard for achieving a good dolly zoom effect. In DaVinci Resolve, adjust the value from 1 to 1.8 or 2, which best suits your footage. Now observe the footage from the first frame after zooming in. Let's play back the video to see how the dolly zoom effect is working. It looks good, resembling a standard dolly zoom effect. However, I aim to achieve the best possible result, achieving a 100% dolly zoom effect by tracking a specific point in the video. To use the tracking point, navigate to the effects tab, then search for the graphic cross overlay. Double click on it or drag it onto the video to apply it. Then you'll see the cross overlay on the video. Before proceeding to the next step, move the time indicator to the last keyframe. We have not made any adjustments in this keyframe, so it shows the original video frame. Use the arrow icons to select the keyframe, which is a best practice. Now let's navigate to the effects tab in the inspector tab and it's time to position the cross overlay at this point in the video that we wanna track for a better dolly zoom effect. Expand the transform section. I wanna track this specific point so adjust the Y value of the center to move the cross overlay upwards to the desired position in the video. If necessary, adjust the X value as well. Next, go to the shape settings and decrease the thickness which may work better for you. If necessary, you can reposition the graphic cross overlay. All set, now move to the video tab and click on the left arrow icon to return to the first keyframe. Notice how the position of the video's tracking point has changed due to our adjustments to the zoom keyframe. We now need to reposition the video's tracking point to align with the cross overlay. Adjust the Y position value to move the video downwards, following the cross overlay. If needed, you can also adjust the X position. Now the video's tracking point is consistent for both first and last keyframes. Finally, let's observe how these minor changes enhance the dolly zoom effect. It appears significantly better compared to the typical dolly zoom effect most of us create. Okay, now you can delete the graphic cross overlay since our menu tracking of the video using it is complete. To delete the cross overlay, go to the effects tab and click on the delete icon. By using this simple technique, you can significantly enhance your dolly zoom effect, especially for the cinematic travel drone footage. You can explore more creative and easy tutorials on this channel. Thank you for watching this video till now. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.